you, Big D. Same time tomorrow. Hey, Big D. Beat up another ten-year-old? Least I don't cry in my sleep. Don't kill Cedric! Boo-hoo! What are you talking about? Hey! What? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything! to the wizarding community. It was self-defense. Hello, Harry. I see the other members of the Order managed to get you here safely. Once he got his packing done. See you later, Harry. Yeah, thanks, Tonks. Welcome to number 12, Grimold Place. Headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. The Order of the what? It's a secret society. The people who fought against Voldemort last time. Let me show you around. What have you been doing? I've been doing nothing. You've had all the fun here at the headquarters of the Order. It's not that exciting. Mostly we've been doing cleaning for Mum. Mrs. Weasley is very keen on cleaning. Could you give me a hand? I have to move all the stuff in this room against that wall so Mum can clean the floor. It's okay, Harry. You're not at the Dursleys now. You're allowed to use magic. I recommend using Accio and Depulso. Handy, but I've not learnt those spells yet. Just copy me. Let's practice Accio first. I'll use that chair to show you how. First, you need to aim at the chair. Then move your wand like this. Then say, Accio! 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 That's it! Show me again. Excellent! Now just show Ginny once more. That'll speed things up. I might actually get finished before tea now. Accio is great for pulling objects. Depulso is what you need for pushing. All you have to do is aim, move your wand like this and say, Depulso. Depulso. Depulso! That's it! It's good to be casting some magic for a change. So, we need to move everything from over here to over there. That's right. might stop Mum moaning for five minutes. Have you seen Ron or Hermione? Mum gave us all things to do. They're about somewhere. Let's find them. See you, Ginny. How was your summer? I bet your summer's been better than mine. Stuck at the Dursleys. Dumbledore made us swear not to write. He seemed to think it best. He was really angry when he heard about the Dementors. If I hadn't been stuck at the Dursleys, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Molly drafted you into domestic duties too, Hermione? I'm fixing these. Then we'll give you a hand. Reparo is the spell for this job. Here, 
Just watch me. Aim at the thing that's broken. Then you move your wand like this and say, Reparo! 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 Wait. Let's repair the Good. We'll have to be better in no time. Let's get this place tidied up before Molly starts moaning again. Let me give you a hand. Here, let me help you. Reparo will have this done in no time. If we keep casting Reparo on the shelves, we'll have this done in no time. How did this house get to be such a mess? Let's tidy up, then we can talk. Honestly, this place is such a mess. Maybe if Creature had some help... Creature wouldn't let another house elf sully his beloved mistress's house. Who's Creature? A foul waste of house elf skin. Your other friends will want to see you. Let's find them. What happened with those Dementors? I thought you'd be safe around Muggles. Lucky Lupin taught you Expecto Patronum. Yeah, that's me, Lucky. Lucky I'm going to get expelled from Hogwarts for stopping a Dementor from kissing me. You'll be back at Hogwarts soon enough. Not with the time it's taken me to pack, we won't. Then let us give you a hand. Wingardium Leviosa. The lifting spell. Watch closely. Aim your wand at the clothes and then move it like this. Wingardium Leviosa. Now they're in the air, we can move the clothes around, like this. To drop the clothes in the trunk, just break the spell. Wingardium Leviosa! Good cast! Great! Keep practicing! That's it! We'll soon have this done! You've got it! Now, let's get everything else packed up. Thanks. I don't know how stuff gets that spread out. Wingardium Leviosa. Useful for moving things around and for keeping Ron's socks at arm's length. Hermione's been reading up. She says they can't expel you. Yeah. What were the Dementors doing there anyway? That is a very good question. I have to go to a meeting of the Order. You stay and catch up with your friends, Harry. I wonder if this meeting's important. Let's find the others. Good evening. Everyone's expecting you. They're through here. Is that mortal? You think of what I'm thinking? Huh? We can use the invisibility cloak, but it's still getting difficult to maintain a proper guard. You know the importance Voldemort places on us. We must find a way. Voldemort's after some sort of weapon. Maybe it's something that can kill lots of people. Shh, the meeting's finished. Quick, get to bed before Mum catches us. My boss has got it. Whatever it is. Yeah. Almost there. I'm almost there, Harry. Courtroom 10, a full wizard got, and for a simple case of underage magic. Order! Order! All those in favor of conviction! We also wish
is to welcome our new defense against the dark arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. <clears throat> Who? Thank you, Headmaster. The Minister for Magic has always considered education to be of vital importance. Although progress for progress sake must be discouraged. She's a friend of Fudge's. She was at the head. Oh. Just illuminate It's a load of waffles. There's important stuff in this football practice. Thank you, Professor Umbridge, and to you and all newcomers. Welcome to Hogwarts! I hope Umbridge back. Listen, Ron. Well done, mate. Becoming a prefect. I never thought it'd be me. I thought it'd be you. Nah. I've caused too much trouble. Yeah, I suppose. Come on, we better get to the common room. Weasley is our king. He always lets the quaffle in. Yeah, yeah. We better get to the common room. We'd better check our new timetable in the common room. Hermione will go mad if we're late on our first day. Slytherin for the cup. Going somewhere, Potter? You should be in the Gryffindor common room, preparing for yet another year of academic underachievement. You're supposed to be going the other way, Potter. Your sense of direction is as lamentable as your knowledge of school rules. Go and revise your elementary potion making, unless you wish to fail your owls. You, of all people, cannot afford to be late for your studies, Potter. You are testing my patience, Potter. Go away. You are test- We'd better check our new timetable in the common room. Hermione will go mad if we're late on our first day. If they really want to reform education here, they should send all the Gryffindors home. Whatever it is, we'll have to wait until later. I have things to do, Mr. Potter. You'll have to talk to me later. I have school business to take care of. I'm afraid I'm a little busy right now. I'm afraid I'm a little busy right now. Surely you have studies to attend to. Move along. We better get to the common room. I hope Umbridge bans Gryffindor from everything else too. It's about time. We better check our new timetable in the common room. Hey, hey Harry! Have you two noticed Hagrid's not here? He must be doing something for the order. Keep your voice down. Quiet, George. He might take points off us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you don't hurry up, you'll be finding Hermione in a bad mood. So, what can we do? Not the brightest, is he? I solemnly swear he isn't the brightest. Oh yeah, the Marauder's Map! I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. You'd better get upstairs. You know what her mind is like if you're late. You'd better get upstairs. Don't hang around us. You'll make people suspicious. You'd better get upstairs. You know what her mind is like if you're late. Don't hang around us. You'll make people suspicious. Get lost, Potter. Like I'm listening. Don't hang around us. Have you noticed how stressed all the teachers are? Do you think that's because of that umbrage woman? 
great, isn't it? Stress teaches exactly what we don't need. Uh, hi, Joe. Well, uh, I just thought I'd say hello. Did you have a good summer? I mean, apart from the hearing and almost being expelled. Uh, is that a tornado's badge? You don't support them, do you? Yeah, I do. I'll see you later, Harry. People only started supporting the tornadoes when they won the league. Let's get to the common room. We don't want to keep the whiny waiting. Maybe you should check the Marauder's map, because this isn't the common room. We need to get to the common room. Open the Marauder's map. Let's see if Hermione's in the common room. Maybe you should check the Marauder's map. Password? I don't know it. Do you? I thought you did. Aren't prefects told in advance? Yeah, it, it was something to do with, you know, uh, um, I don't know. They told us loads of stuff. Great. So how do we get in? No password, no entry. Yeah, of course. Come on, let's find someone else from Gryffindor and ask them the password. Hi, do you know what the password is for the common room? Uh, Mimbulus Mimbletonia? Good. You passed my prefect test. Now move it, midget. And they accused me of drinking all the chocolate liqueur. The impudence! Password! Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Correct! Where have you two been? You'd better look at the notice board. Depulsor! Oh, have you made a discovery, Harry? Myrtle? Uh, well, I found something. That's what a discovery is, silly. There are things all over Hogwarts that can be discovered. You should look for them. With our luck, we'll find another chamber of secrets. Only this time it'll be full of spiders. Not spiders. Special things. Things that most people never see. You mean there is another chamber? Not a chamber. More of a room. I found it when I was hiding in the pipes. Every time someone makes a discovery... Special things appear in the room. Special secret 
great things. Great! Where is this room of rewards? Oh, yes. Just ask Myrtle. Myrtle will tell you everything. Well, it's a secret. You'll just have to discover it for yourself. What do you think that Umbridge woman is going to do? It was so quiet during the holiday. I hope our timetable's better than last year's. I can't believe Mum actually bought me a new broom. And mine is taking this new prefect thing really seriously, isn't she? You'd better look at the notice board. I can't believe you haven't looked at the notice board yet. You'd better look at the notice board. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe he got double potions on a Monday. We'd better find Neville. I bet he's not looked at the timetable yet, and we've got umbrage for defence against the dark arts next. Maybe this is a time to check your map. We really should go to Defence Against the Dark Arts. Professor Umbridge was at your hearing. Now she's here. I don't think it's a coincidence. Okay. Let's go to Defence Against the Dark Arts, Harry. All those articles in the Daily Prophet. I'm sure Fudge is up to something. We really should go to Defence Against the Dark Arts. I hope Umbridge will teach us a way to make Snape disappear. One sacked, one dead, one's memory removed, and one locked in a trunk for nine months. Shame I didn't give Snape the job. Why don't you check your map? Wingardium Leviosa! Make sure that Mr. Longbottom remembers the password this year. Found what? The room I told you about, silly. It's just through this portrait. Whoa! Really? Oh, for the power to jinx that minx. What do you want? Oh, verily, you are an offense to the eye. I'd like to go into the room of rewards. And if wishes grew on trees, life would be a breeze. Please pester someone else. Do I need a password to come in? Did you not hear? I said push off. Well, we could. Or we could stay here until Myrtle comes back. Myrtle likes Harry. I'm sure if Harry asked her, she'd stay here all the time. What? So, either we could go inside, or Harry could ask Myrtle to haunt here. Forever. You, my girl, have a vindictive streak to be admired. Enter, and tell that sobbing spectre to stay well away from me. Every time you discover things, my file gets heavier. You don't know how lucky you are that portraits can't jinx. Hello, Harry. Oh, I've been waiting for you. You've found lots of special things, haven't you? No one's ever found things as fast as you. I hope you keep discovering them. Then you can fill up our special room. And I won't tell anyone else about it, Harry. It'll be our secret. <laughs> there are a lot of interesting things. I wonder what else will appear in here.
Well, really. Who cursed me with you? All your discoveries are making my arm ache. Harry, you must have been busy. You do realise this is our fifth defence against the Dark Arts teacher? You do realise this is... Why don't you check your map? Any chance I could borrow your History of Magic essay? I fell asleep in the last lesson. No, sorry. Let's go to Defence Against the Dark Arts, Harry. All those articles in the Daily Prophet. I'm sure Fudge is up to something. Wingardium Leviosa! Pointing that wand at me. Looks like he's landed himself in trouble. Point your wand at them. Hey! Party! Porter! Party! Porter! I'll tell my father. Thanks. I tried to stop them picking on some first years, but they started picking on me instead. At least you tried, Neville. Wasn't that against school rules, Hermione? We'd better get to defence against the dark arts. Hi. Uh 
hope Hedwig's all right. Sorry, I've forgotten what I wanted to say. My grand cancelled our subscription to the Daily Prophet. We believe you, Harry. Thanks, Neville. Maybe I could show you my Mimbulus Mimbletonia later. My grand believes you, Harry. Hermione, can you help me get rid of Stink Sap? All the girls keep saying they can smell me coming down the corridor. My grand cancelled our subscription. Thanks, Neville. One sacked. against the dark arts, Harry. This is one of the working passages which leads to Honeydukes. Shame some of the passages are blocked now. You think they'd get the house elves to look after them? How would you like to clean them? Oh, I wouldn't. But well, I'm not a house elf. I've got some things to show you in our secret room. You don't have to bring the others if you don't want to. should go to defense against the dark arts. Wingardium Leviosa! I really want to go to Hogsmeade next time. Are you... to go to defense against the dark arts. I hope Umbridge will teach us a way to make Snape disappear. against the dark arts. And the consequences may be severe. There's nothing in here about actually using defensive spells. <laughs> using spells? I can't imagine why you would need to use defensive spells. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because Lord Voldemort's back. That is a lie. It's not a lie! I saw him. I fought him! A detention, Mr. Potter? Tonight, my office. Chapter One, Basics for Beginners. 
Well, that was fun. Can't believe she won't let us practice spells in OWL's year. That's what you're upset about. Not that a teacher is telling everyone I'm a liar. We could talk to Fred and George. They've already done fifth year defence against the dark arts. Those two? They only know flashy stuff, not real magic. We've got nothing to lose though, have we? Come on, let's find them. We might as well go and see Fred and George. Talk to Ron, this isn't my idea. I told you to be careful around Umbridge, Harry. We might as well go and see Fred and George. Come on, mate. Let's find Fred and George. I think they're outside. Look on your map. We can find them on that. Come on, mate. Let's find Fred and George. Whatever. I wish I'd taken divination instead. Look on your map. We can find them on that. Wingardium Leviosa! Outside. Want to practice charm? I'll meet you in the courtyard near Transfiguration. No, I've got to use my head. Reparo! De Wingardium Leviosa! I like your hair today. What are you up to now? Good day to you. Depulso! How are you? Hi. Wingardium Leviosa. Hello, Prefects. Come to see we're not causing trouble. What do you want, Harry? What is it you want to ask us? It's Umbridge. She won't teach us anything practical in defence against the Dark Arts. We heard. So you want our help? What do you think, George? I think with this sorry lot, we'd better start with the basics. 
One's out, everyone. Now, the best sort of opponent is a oneless opponent. Care to demonstrate, George? I'd be delighted, Fred. Watch closely now. Expelliarmus! Exemplary, George. I'd almost think you'd been awake in class. <laughs> now let's see you do it, Harry. Expelliarmus! Great! So now try to see those two. Well done! You even got Ron to cast it correctly. Get lost. Now, Expelliarmus is all right, but when it comes to wiping the smile off the face of a Slytherin, there's nothing quite as good as Stupefy, as Fred will demonstrate. Stupefy! <laughs> Not bad. Now, let's see you do it, Harry. Just imagine I'm Malfoy. Stupefy! So now I see those two. Super Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, if you'll excuse us. We're busy men. We've got places to go, people to see. You should keep practicing those spells when you get a chance. But who should we practice on? Oh, any passing Slytherin will do. See, see you later. Harry, hadn't you better go to your detention? We'll meet you when you get out of Umbridge's office. Yeah. See you later. Looking for trouble, Potter? Expelliarmus! Good evening, Mr. Potter. You know why you are here? Yes. For telling the truth. I'll decide what the truth is. I must not be ah! What's that in your hand? I thought you said Umbridge gave you lines. Let's talk to Hermione. She'll know something to help heal your hand. Oh. oh. Hermione, look what Umbridge made Harry do. That woman really is a monster. You've got to tell Dumbledore about this. No, I'm not giving Umbridge the satisfaction. Well, a solution of strained and pickled Mertlap tentacles will help to soothe the wound, but I need to check how to extract it. Let me guess. We have to go to the library. It's not as though you're actually allergic to books, Ron. Hey! You down there! I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Wingardium Leviosa! Yes, I'm by the fireplace! Hello! Hey! Death Lugs! I'm up here! Oh, I wish they'd clean my frame. You couldn't have a word with the house elves, could you? I did ask Miss Granger, but she gave me rather a lecture about something called S-P-E-W. That's the wonderful thing about this castle. It's so full of secrets. I've been here for more years than you'd care to count, and I still don't know them all. Climb up here! Wingardium Leviosa! Deposo! You took your time. Listen, I've got a stitch of yours that you lost in here. Now I've managed to lose my stitch in one of the portraits around here. You find my snitch, I'll give you yours. Deal? What did I need to find? Call yourself a seeker. I need a snitch. Little golden ball with wings. Play Quidditch with it. Can you remind me what I needed to find? I told you. I need to find my snitch. 
Excuse me? E excuse me? Is that your snitch? <laughs> snitch? What snitch? The one by your head. Has that old codger got my snitch? What did you call me? You deaf old duffer. Give me my snitch! You're not having it unless you apologize. What the? How dare you? <laughs> A great seeker can't be denied his snitch. Here's your reward, Harry. <laughs> you can! You can! Why, really? I haven't been this insulted since 1843. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room, Harry. I presume you would like someone to reduce the pain you're in? Nice one, Harry. Hiya. Hey. What would Godric Gryffindor make of all of this? That's what I want to know. The fat lady's no oil painting, is she? <laughs> Your father was always playing with a snitch. Wonderful reflexes. You knew my father? Everyone knew James Potter. Always ruffling up his hair. Looked like he'd just been flying a broom in a gale. Well, have fun, Master Potter. And don't go losing that snitch again. Did you know my mother too? Lily. Lily. Lily Evans. Pretty girl. Long, dark red hair. Ah, oh, yes. Always arguing with your father, selling him off when he got out of hand. About the only person who could keep him in line. You've got her eyes, I'd say. I said to Sir Cadogan the other day, what are you doing still hanging around? Hanging around? <laughs> oh, I'm such a wit. If you're looking for something to do, you could always play with the snitch you found. Look at this background. They could have at least put in a bookcase or a billiard table. He's got a whole Quidditch pitch in his. What am I supposed to do? Take my advice, Harry. If you ever have your portrait painted, make sure they don't hang it next to an old goat like that one. They were going to do me in watercolours, you know. Wingardium Leviosa! I've played all over the place, you know. Oh yes, on the grand staircase, in the tapestry room, I've played everywhere. Shame you and I can't play Quidditch together, Harry. Ah, oh, the matches I've played. If we go to the second floor of the grand staircase, there's a passage behind one of the portraits.
Harry. You left me all alone in here for ages. And I've got lots to show you. I'll tell Mr. Lucas. Let's do something, Harry. This is like being in one of Bin's History of Magic lessons. Fred and George must be earning a fortune. What's the point if they're going to end up with no NEWTs? They might not have newts, but they know their stuff. You saw their headless hats. Hmm. All they know is flashy stuff. Not anything with real magical skill. We can get to the library much quicker through the portrait. Isn't there a shortcut that leads to the library? Doesn't the portrait of Basil Fronzak lead to near the library? Remember, Harry, you can use portrait shortcuts to get around Hogwarts faster. Remember, Harry... Hermione, have you noticed that Cho Chang's being funny around Harry? Still, she is a Tornadoes fan. She's probably mental. Why don't you talk to this portrait? Maybe he will let us use the secret passage. Hi. You guard a secret passage, don't you? My, my, an inquisitive mind. Your deduction is correct. I do stand sentinel over such a passage, though I only allow those who are keen of mind to pass. You mean, in a test? Indeed. I wish you to assist me in my quest for knowledge. You must locate a first-year Ravenclaw student and discover where Rowena Ravenclaw came from. A simple task, but informative nonetheless. What were the tasks you... I am bound to my duty. Until you demonstrate your aptitude for learning, you may not pass. I require you to discover where Rowena Ravenclaw came from. Fred and George... What's the... They mu <laughs> we can get to the... Li Off on another adventure? Is there a secret passage here? <laughs> Quiet, boy. Who goes there? Harry Potter. A brave lad. But only those bearing the Hufflepuff colors or the password may enter here. Yeah. Hufflepuff? Right. Okay, mate. Hiya. Potter stinks. Bye. Hey, do you know where Rowena Ravenclaw came from? Yeah, of course. Rowena Ravenclaw is from the Glens. Right. Thanks. What are you doing at the weekend? I want to go down to the lake. Hi. Can you tell me the password for the portrait of Gifford Abbott? He said I had to help a Hufflepuff student. Well, I heard you helped Cedric during a Triwizard tournament. The password is Dragon's Egg. Thanks. Dragon's Egg. I had word that you helped a member of the Proud House of Hufflepuff. You are due your reward, Mr. Potter. Bald and dash and piffle. Rowena Ravenclaw came from the Glens. Excellent. My faith in the House of Ravenclaw is maintained. I would say your exertions warrant an O for outstanding. The way is open to you. Next time, simply say, studious success. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. Oh. I think fine, are we? The 
book we need is in here somewhere. There it is! Up there! That's the book we need! How are we supposed to get up there? I don't remember McGonagall teaching us how to turn into birds. Wingardium Leviosa! This is supposed to be a library. Watch out! It's moving again! This isn't the right book. This is from the restricted section. It must have escaped. Let's get to somewhere private where we can check this book. How about moaning Myrtle's bathroom? That would be perfect. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. Keep it up, Master Potter. Dragon's Egg. Pass, friend to Hufflepuff. somewhere where no one will interrupt us. Let's get to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Let's get there quickly. Maybe this is a time to check your map. I solemnly swear, maybe this is a time.
had our secret room for a long time. why it would be in the restricted section. It looks like a normal book on the practical use of spells. That's it then. Practical use. I bet Umbridge had it put there to stop us practicing any more spells. Come on, Harry. Let's choose one to learn. Uh. Well, here's a good one to start with. Incendio! It says here that you need to aim your wand, then simply tap it, like this, and use the incantation Incendio! Blimey! Incendio! Great! Try lighting another one! Incendio! Let's practice on the lamps in here. Go on, Harry. Deposo! I don't think there could be another basilisk in there, do you? is really useful. Are you going to make us take it back, Hermione? Library books are meant to be borrowed, so it's not as if we're doing anything wrong. I'll keep hold of it. Let's get back to the common room. We need to get ready for our Hogsmeade visit. Serious? So Umbridge is causing trouble. She's not letting us use magic. That's because Fudge thinks Dumbledore is using Hogwarts to form a wizard army. Someone's coming. Sorry, you're on your own. Blimey! Great. Huh? Voldemort's on the move and Fudge is as good as helping him. What are we supposed to do? We've got 
ought to be able to defend ourselves. And if Umbridge refuses to teach us how, then we need someone who will. You don't want to be taught by me. Facing this stuff in real life, it isn't like school. When you're a second away from being murdered, or watching a friend die right before your eyes. You're right, Harry. That's why we need your help. Because if we're to have any chance of beating Voldemort... They all signed up. We need to find Neville. Let's find Neville. 